everyone, welcome to another installment of Metalhead Central, the show where I give honest ratings to honest music. Today, we're going to be heading into a world of nature, bright trees, and an endless worship of the works of one Charles Darwin. Yes, it's Nightwish, and their new album, Human to Nature, it was released April 10th on Nuclear Blast. This is their first album in five years, and during that time, they've gained a drummer and gone around the world spreading their musical sense of naturalistic thinking. So, how do they do on this album? Let's find out. This is one of those albums that's more musically beautiful than you realize at first. It starts in typical Nightwish fashion, with an orchestra and broad sweeping melodies. Then Floor Jansen's gorgeous operatic vocals kick in, and you're off on a journey. Though you don't exactly know what kind of a journey you're taking. It might be a heavy one, filled with crunching guitars and thumping bass. It might be a lighter one, with symphonic elements bringing in a touch of classicism that zips the album up nicely. It might be a folk-laden one, evoking images of harvests and workers in the field. Whatever the journey, it's one that's definitely worth taking. From track one, the band throws the entirety of their musical abilities and talents into their art. There aren't really any bad songs on here, just ones that were slightly less impressive than others. Tracks like Music, Noise, Endlessness, and Pan bring forward the blunter side of the group, while Harvest and Shoemaker wrap around behind you with their subtlety. It's pretty fantastic when you get down to it. My only critique of the album is that they continue their unashamed Darwinistic worship on a couple of tracks. The overabundance of blatant atheism killed the last album for me, just as an overabundance of pro-religious themes would. The lyrics are poetically stunning, but any message that's as preachy as this one has got to go. We get it. You believe that we're just completely random products of random explosions at random points in the universe's random history. Just... Go back to writing songs about poets and pendulums like you used to. Please? Please? Well, anyway. Overall, this was a fantastic album that's well worth your time and attention. The music is beautiful, the lyrics, while preaching on a couple of tracks, are very well written. But what ties this album up is its variety and balance. Hard and soft come together to create something outstanding. It gets a tree-hugging 4.5 out of 5. Thank you so much for watching. Click like, and don't forget to subscribe. Next week, we're going to be jumping into a cesspool of gritty, yet somehow still melodic death metal with the Black Dahlia Murder's new album, Verminous. I hope you'll join me. You've been watching Metalhead Central, where I give honest ratings to honest music, and I'll see y'all next time.